Matthew 6.24 Udes dunatai du si curios du luen. Egar ton hena misese, kai ton heteron agapese, e henas antexetai kai tu heteru kataphranese. U dunaste the o duluen kai mamona. Jesus continues to warn against loving money here. He says, no one is able. Oh, oh, and that's a verb, just ask and just warn, just waiting to be completed with a complimentary infinitive. There it is right there. No one is able to serve two masters. And the verb deluo takes its object in the dative case. That's why that's in the dative. No one is able to serve two masters. And then we have this a a, which is either or, an either or type pattern, for either he will hate the one and will love the other, or he will be devoted to, that's from the verb anteko, and it takes a genitive object, that's why henas is in the genitive, he will be devoted to one and he will despise the other. And also the verb kataphraneo, to despise, takes a genitive object there. We have a lot of interesting uh, verbs here that take their object in cases other than the accusative. And then we have this emphatic statement here in the end, second person plural, you are not able to serve, and of course, yes, that's going to take the complementary infinitive, duluane, you are not able to serve God and mammon, that is God and riches, or God and money. This is an Aramaic word, and uh, it's often transliterated in English as mammon. Here it's transliterated in Greek. But if you go on to the Daily Dose of Aramaic, just type that in your, your web search right there, Daily Dose of Aramaic. Go on the Daily Dose of Aramaic and go up to the search bar and type in mammon, and you will see that Dr. Scott Callahan did a very nice uh, weekend edition, a very nice um, uh, screencast describing uh, this word in Aramaic and what it means.